this uh, unit is our 19,000 and it has a modified um, gripping tool on it. The unit has, I'll start from the bottom, has four swivel casters so you can turn the lifter on a dime. You have a braking system up from the caster so it's in a free swivel position right now. You push the brake down, it locks the rear casters. If you push it all the way up, it will lock the rear casters in a trailing position. So if you're going to go down a, a long aisle or need to turn in this tight area, you can easily maneuver the lifter without having all four swivel casters. The bottom underneath the stainless steel motor cover is the motor and gear for the lifting mechanism. You have a power pack here. Battery indicator shows you the status of the batteries. The battery is removable if you do find you need more power, you're running out, we can't put a secondary power pack on the lifter. You can't take this one away and connect another one into position. A battery charger will come with the lifter. The battery charger does plug in here on the back of the, of the battery charger, only plugs in one way. You will get a, a green light when the battery is, is fully charged. Approximately four to six hours to fully charge the batteries if they are drained down. The up-down controls are here. Simple push it up and down. It is removable, so if you do need to go out to the front of the lifter to line anything up, you can take the pendant with you. This is the controls for the tilt and squeeze mechanism. First one is your tilt. Tilt up and tilt down. This is variable speed. So the more you push on the joystick, the faster it will go or the slower it will go with lighter, lighter movements. You have a single hand to grip the core of the roll. That is this one. And you have two hands to release the core. The handlebar, I didn't forget to mention, the handlebar is height adjustable. You loosen these four knobs and you can raise and lower the handlebar to the desired height for each of the operators. This is the tooling. This is the only thing missing from this. This is a temporary actuator for the tilt mechanism. This is a the gripping mast, this aluminum. You have one moving gripping arm and these are fixed. The motor and gear to drive is back here in the back. We'll take over and we'll do a quick demonstration of picking up this sample coil. See, so we come into the inside of the core, lower down. You want to put the fixed arms up against the inside of the core because they will not move. You hit the one button to grip the core. You will hit that button until it fully stops. Then you have a full grip on the core. Then you can raise up and tilt up. The stroke on the actuator will be the 90 degrees, so you will not have to worry about stopping and starting in a certain position. It should take it to core horizontal, as we're going to now, or down to core vertical. Now you're all the way into the core horizontal position. At this point, you can take it to the machine, hit two buttons to release it, and you're done.